very recently is starting to change, but you know, when we first started this quarantine stay at home thing, realtors were not essential. Mm -hmm. Escrow was essential, title was essential, but the realtor was not. How, how does it even make sense? How do you, how do we even get to escrow without an agent? If they don't have the realtor. Yeah. Right. that was my whole thing. And it was like, I had buyers in escrow at that moment in time. And, you know, the other agent and I just, we spoke about it and he's like, you know, if you want me to, I'll give you one day code. So the buyer can get in with, you know, cause she was doing a couple of extra inspections, but he said, as far as I'm concerned, you know, and so I went, I let them in. We did social distancing, mm-hmm. you know, it was myself, it was, there was a couple buying, but it was just the wife. And then the person doing the inspect- inspection and 99% of the time he was outside. So, I mean, and we, we were all wearing masks, you know, we all had gloves, all, all that, all that happy stuff. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it, it, you just, you do what you got to do to make it work. You know, my listing in Barstow, I did a virtual open house ended up with four offers, countered them all asking for highest and best, wow. but told them before you respond, we're going to get you on a, a walkthrough. So we got them into the house and it was tenant occupied, by the way. They walked through, they responded with their highest and best and escrow will close at the end of this month. Great that one's job. Off because the tenant had to be given 60 day notice. Wow. I've got one one coming um, out in Hellendale. Hellendale? Where's that? (laughs) Ever driven to Las Vegas? Yeah. You know, when you're going up Interstate 15, Mm -hmm. you come down the top of Cajon Pass, you hit D Street in Victorville, you get off D Street and you head west. Wow. And it is out between Victorville and Barstow, because you can get to Barstow that way too. Um, so it's out in the middle of nowhere, but it is a resort golf community, 27 hole golf course, tennis courts, basketball courts, swimming pools, and two lakes, stock fish, equestrian center. Ooh. But see, David, I do not want listings up there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when, I know, right? But yeah, when that's... they come to me, I take them because my 82 year old parents, mm-hmm live in Apple Valley, which is right by Victorville. Mm-hmm. So Uncle Sam will let me write off my mileage to check in on my mom and dad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm not insane. I'm really not a crazy woman. But but help me get more mm-hmm. clients and followers down here, please. Yeah. And and that's my whole thing, you know, and, and what I was trying to really, you know, bring up, you know, a few minutes ago, just as far as me consulting with you guys since 2016, mm-hmm. that, that, as I left mortgages, I just knew I wanted to help you guys. Cause I just seen, I, I just seen a missing, you know, link. I seen a hole in the market there because when it comes to social media and, and then, and then the light bulb even went on even more when I started requesting you guys. So today, if you look at my personal page over here mm-hmm. and I'm going to give you context of where all this is coming from and why, yes, the advice I'm going to give you is going to be basic. It's going to be powerful and it's going to be 100% based on what I see and what I know. It's none none of this stuff is theory or my opinion on how you should market. This is what I, I see what's going on in your industry. And, and, and again, majority of them are missing the boat. So, but, but I also want to make clear that this stuff is basic. Like this stuff is super basic. And that's also where I found my niche is teaching guys these basics because every agent is coming online looking for that next deal, looking for that next buyer, looking for that next seller, looking to capture some type of lead. And that's, and, and, and again, what I'm, what I'm saying is that before we even get there, there's basic steps that need to be implemented on these pages before anyone even takes you seriously because on social media, no one knows you. So the same way you're on this call wondering who the heck David is, I'm on the call wondering who the heck Jill is. Like, I don't know you either. That's social media. So unless we have our pages, what we call optimized and just Mm -hmm. updated to really show some credibility, most people are going to just fly by it. They're going to scroll through, scroll through, scroll through. And we're just another agent that they can choose from. So here's what happened in 2016. If you look at this friend list over here, 
I started because I knew we can only have 5,000. I knew that I wanted to start helping you guys. I knew that from a marketing perspective, let me turn up my, my light here. From a marketing perspective, I also knew, well, it, it was a question. I had to ask myself, how was I going to get a hold of you guys? Like, was I going to cold call every agent and just pitch services? Or was I going to, you know, door knock? Because obviously here in San Diego, there's an office or there used to be an office on every corner. Right. Oh, yeah. There was an agent everywhere, especially down here in the South Bay. There's an agent everywhere. Oh, oh there, it, 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 there still is. Right. There still is. Right. So I was like, man, what am I going to do? Am I going to reach out to my existing network and all of a sudden pitch all these agents that I close deals with for their clients, pitch and marketing services? Was, was I going to do that? Like, I didn't want to be that guy. So oh. what I did in 2016 is I literally started removing all of my real friends off of Facebook. Like my mom, my brother, my in-laws, my cousins, my real friends that I went to school with because you can only have 5,000. So I started reaching out to, to the couple hundred people that I actually knew. And I said, hey, I'm going to start building a business and I need this spot. I need you to move over to my Instagram because I have other plans with this personal account. Yeah. So long story short, Jill, what I did in 2016 is I started requesting real estate agents. So when okay. you look at this friend list today, every single one of them is an agent. Okay. Every single one of them, every single one of them, except for my wife, which is this one right here, Melina. Mm -hmm. But of 5,000 friends, 4999 are okay. agents. And so the reason why I'm telling you that is because since 2016, I've literally been seeing how thousands of agents are marketing their business. Mm -hmm. And so that's where I came up with all this. And I ended up writing a book about it in 2018. It's the social real estate agent, five steps to implement on social media to capture more leads and build your personal brand fast. I wrote a book about, about this and I, and I narrowed it down to five steps because as you follow thousands of people, you start to see patterns and habits of how they're posting on social media. But when you follow thousands of people, Jill, that literally all have the same job, mm -hmm. you really start to see some things. So I'm, yeah. see, I'm seeing how everyone by the thousands is posting their listings, how they're posting, posting their open houses, how they're posting how badass they are, how they have the, you know, how they'll have, have your house listed by tonight and have it closed by tomorrow. I'm seeing it all. And so long story shorter, I just came up with these five steps because everyone is online looking for that next lead, but they're missing the basics. And as I see thousands of pages, they're missing the basics. And so this is what I highly, highly, highly recommend that you do. And I'm going to, and I boiled it, boiled it down to five basic steps. And so this will be a quick call because it's just these five steps. And once I show them to you, they'll make sense. And, mm -hmm. and so unless we really kind of take these steps seriously, no one on social media is going to really take you seriously because yeah. again, no one knows you. Mm -hmm. So here's, here's where I would start to, 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 to touch on what you mentioned, help you, help you get more leads, help you find more people in this area, right? That's what it's all about. Here's where it starts though. It starts on this personal page. We have our personal page and then we have our business page, which we'll get to. Okay. Right here, this is the most important page because this is where you're connecting with the most people. Jill and David connected on her personal page. As you connect with more people around the, around the you know, whether it's around San Diego, around the country, whatever, as you connect with more people on Facebook, there is this friend list, however many friends you have over here, yeah. It doesn't even matter. As that list goes up, as you scale that friend list up, and the only reason why you would scale it up is because you're building a business. Yep. If you weren't building a business, you'd be fine with 150 friends that you actually know. I don't care. Right? Like yeah. because, but because, and this applies for every platform, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, whatever. As we take that friend count up, 95 plus percent are not going to know you. So just like Jill and David doesn't know each other, it, it is, it's that way for 95% of your friends. And so with that being said, there's information here that we absolutely need to show. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is what I call step one. So as I come to Jill's page, and again, this is after seeing thousands of real estate agents pages. This is where I came up with it. I came to everyone's page. And I'm like, wait a minute. They're pitching their listing, they're pitching their open house, but let me look at their page. And, it's in, and from a marketing perspective, this is just what stuck out. I'm like, man, if branding and credibility is everything in real estate, because I, knew, I know when I was in mortgages, I had my face, I had my license number, I had my phone number, I had that on everything. Business cards, flyers, whatever. Branding is everything in mortgages and I know it is in real estate. So, so that's where I came up with this. I'm like, wait a minute, 
the basic brand is missing. I don't know this person. They're not showing me much information, but yet they're telling me about their real estate business over here. And so this is what I've seen on thousands of pages right here in the intro. We have a ton of information missing. So as people come to this page for the very first time, I can look at the image and automatically professional family woman. She looks like she's amazing. She looks like she's outgoing. I can assume a ton on just images alone. Mm -hmm. But again, because you're building a business, there needs to be some links right here. So here's step one. I come across Jill's page and she's showing me this right here, real estate broker associate at Compass, former mm -hmm. real estate at Pacific, and then studied, studied, Liz from followed. I come across Candy's page and Candy's showing me a link straight to her business page, not her broker's. Mm. So not only do 95 plus percent of these friends not know you, but 95% of these friends are not in the business. Right. Now, unless you're recruiting like a, like a KW or an EXP and they're out, out there, you know, recruiting, actually recruiting other agents, unless you're recruiting, then I would assume that the majority of your friends are not in the business Therefore, they do not know that this is not your page. Mm -hmm. So God only knows how many of these friends actually clicked on Compass, the genuine people, actually genuine friends, people that want to support Jill. They're clicking on that link. They're coming over here. They're liking the page. When that does Jill, absolutely no, no good. good. So I see it by the thousands. Basic, basic stuff. So again, Candy, there's a link straight to her business page. She doesn't have her broker link anywhere. She doesn't have a former broker link anywhere. It's simply a link to her business page. And that is the first impression because again, as I land here, I can look at the image and automatically assume whatever first impression, but the links are going to direct me to where that business owner is at. Okay. And so now today we're now in this quote unquote social media world. We're now building our business online. This is what's important the business page link to your business page. And then down here, as you can notice, as you notice, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn, her website address. Now she doesn't have all those links listed because she's a social media butterfly and she knows all about Twitter and she's posting every day on Pinterest. No, she simply has it up there for the branding. She has it up there for the credibility. I come to Candy's page. I don't know Candy from Jill. Mm -hmm. I don't know them from John. But right. she's showing me a little bit more. And, and, and here's what you need to know as a business owner. Every past client, every existing client, every future client you will ever close escrow on is literally on one of these platforms. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, or LinkedIn. Unless they're in their late 80s, they yes. may not be. Right. But if they're in their 80s, I'm even, I'm even somewhat willing to bet that your parents in their 80s may even be on Facebook just so they're in touch with you. Actually, no, they're okay, not. Okay, so, so I'm glad I didn't bet. But nine out of 10 times, that would be the case. Mm -hmm. The 80 and, year old I've parent. Encouraging them so they can right? see grand, their grandchildren yep. stuff yep. on Facebook. But there you anyway, go. That's haven't, haven't won that one yet. <laughs> yeah, you will eventually, and they will cave in eventually because, yes, they want to be in touch with you. They want to see pictures. They want to see pictures of the grandchildren. If there are any grandchildren, that's why even 80 year olds are here. Yeah. But, but anything in between the age of, let's just say you're dealing with your first time home buyer at the age of, I don't know, 25 from yeah. 25 to 80, they're on yeah. one of those platforms. So yeah. all you need to know from a business perspective is where is my audience? My audience is on social media and David's telling me they're on one of these five Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn. So all I need to do as a business owner is at least have them active, have them listed on my personal page here and go the next step further and get everything matching. One name for all. If it's Joe Eastman realtor. Okay. I need Joe Eastman realtor on every platform. Basic stuff. Basic. I think, basic I, I think stuff. I've got that. I think I've got that already. On LinkedIn, Instagram, Pinterest, your.com. So although you have a compass okay. website, what a lot of people do is they have their broker's website mm -hmm. and they have a link and they're promoting that link. And that link will be a long one. Jill Eastman dot compass dot 
com like it's a long link right we don't want to brand that we want to brand joe eastman realtor.com mm -hmm. and when you I click on that my website because yeah. it's jill I, jill dot it's jill eastman joe eastman okay so if that's the name jill eastman realtor okay whichever one you want to go with i'm just suggesting yep brand it with everything well it, that makes sense right that's yeah. step one. That's step one. And, and again, after just seeing thousands of pages, I'm like, wait a minute, you guys are all missing the basics. And then, and even with your page over here, you, ha you actually have more than most, like most I'll come to most pages, most agent pages, and there ain't nothing here. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, dang, where is your credibility? Like, I don't know you let me show me a little bit more because here's the reality. Although Jill may spend all her time on Facebook, as she takes this friend count up, mm -hmm. how does she know that David doesn't spend the majority of his day on LinkedIn? Yeah. She doesn't know that. Had she had her link there, mm -hmm. I would have clicked on it. I would have automatically connected with her on LinkedIn. And because I'm comfortable there, I would have messaged her there. Yep. And you better hope you get that message, especially if it's about buying and selling real estate. Oh, they come, they come directly into my phone. Right? Exactly. So let's just get them listed over here. That's, that's step one. And then, and then not only is that the first impression, because it's the very first thing I see right when I land here, but mm -hmm. also if I want to dig in and see more about Jill, I'll obviously click about. Yeah. And then what you're showing me right here is January 31st. If I come to Candy's page, I want to dig into her and say, okay, what is she about? I'll click about. And rather than just seeing November 4th, I'm seeing Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Instagram, her website address. So, mm -hmm. so what you want to do is keep in mind that people today are going to literally follow you on social media. They're going to message you on social media before they ever pick up the phone and call you. Yeah, that makes That's sense. where we're at today. You and I connected on Facebook. We messaged on Facebook. We're on a call today and I don't even know your phone number. <laughs> yep. Right. So that's where the communication is at. And, and if we can get people to follow us on their favorite platform, it's a good way to still stay connected with them and, and be, be top of mind. Should they ever need us in the future? Yeah. That's step one, basic personal page. Now let me, let me pull up your business page. What's your business page? Jill Eastman realtor. Okay. So step one also comes a little bit further and it comes to this personal or to this business page over here as well. So here's, here's the last part of step one. As we list everything on the personal page, we're going to mm -hmm. also come over here to the about section and list everything right here. So good job on the, on the dot com. You got the Jill Eastman.com. Now let's just finish it up. Actually here's here. Okay. So here, here's what I'm going to say. First of all, take out the phone number. No one needs to see your number. Okay. Hold on. Second, this is what I'm referring to. I already see a mix match. We got the user and, and everything I'm saying when it comes to these names is the username, the at, not the title. So you could title it whatever the heck you want. It's the at sign that I'm referring to. That's the username. So I'm already seeing a mix match. We got Jill Eastman Realtor for the username, which is what I'm saying customized for everything, one name for everything. And then we got a different dot com. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to go with one or the other. That's just what I'm suggesting. You can do whatever the heck you want, but I'm just suggesting, you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. let's use one name for all, Yep. you know? So, and, and, and I'll, say, I'll, I'll show you how to get the .com. Like you can keep this joeeastman.com just to have, but you can also get joeeastmanrealtor.com if that's what you want to go with. And I'll show you how to get it for a buck. Okay. So it's not going to cost you much at all. So this is where you want to list everything. So I should see right here more info. Like if I go to, if I go to Candy's, this is her business page. If I click about and I scroll down, all I'm seeing is hedge properties, hedge properties, hedge properties, hedge properties, hedge properties. And this is LinkedIn and Pinterest down here, but I don't know why the icon isn't showing, but Instagram, Twitter, her website address, her email, everything is one name. Yeah. Basic stuff, Jill, basic stuff. And I'm just telling you, I see it by the thousands. No one has that basic step down and that hurts their credibility. It hurts what we call social proof. Mm -hmm. and, and it just hinders the ability to even look like a real person, you know? So that's what people are looking for is, is that basic, those basic links here's step two. So that that's step one. Okay. List okay. everything, personal page, business page. Here's step one. 
as I'm telling you, every single friend except for one is my actual wife, okay? When you follow that many people, you start to get notifications. You start to, you start to just obviously see the patterns, what I, as I mentioned, but just like you over here on your timeline, as any of your friends come over here and they click like, they share it, they comment, you yes. get a notification. Yes. Because all of mine are agents, my notifications all day, Dana invited you, Elise invited you, Leslie invited you, Yajara, Sally, Marnie. Every single day, all day, I get an invite to like a real estate agent's page because that's all my friends are, real estate agents. So when I come to their page, this like count is a first impression. Mm -hmm. So I'm telling you, since 2016, I've literally spoken to agents about this exact topic. Since 2016, I've helped hundreds of agents. Since 2016, I've spoken to about this topic to thousands of agents. Since 2016, Joe, I've literally looked at tens of thousands of Facebook business pages when it comes to real estate agents in this country. I've seen tens of thousands because all I do is I, I click and, and I, go, I go look at someone's page and I come here and I'm telling you, 99.999% have anywhere from 300 to 400 likes. Mm -hmm. And every single like, 99% of them, came from inviting our friends on our personal page. But the reality about social media, whether it's Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, whatever, as I mentioned, as you scale that number up, not only do the majority of them not know you, but the majority of them are going to live across the country. You're not going to have thousands of friends here that are all in San Diego. Right. You're not. They're, they're going to be from all over the place. And that applies for every platform. So what we're doing is we're clicking invite to all these random people to get them to like our page. And at the end of it all, you'll, you'll be lucky if you even reach 400 like this other you know, gal over here. That's going to take you just, just to click invite to every new friend that comes aboard. To take it to, to, from 265 to 400, that's going to take you the next seven months. And at the end of it all, 99% of this like count don't even live in the area. Right. And so two big, big problems with that is the fact that as you post, as anyone posts, two things. Facebook is only showing it to 1% of that like count. So only 1% of your 265 or only 1% of the 400 that she has here, Marnie, yeah. only 1% is actually seen it. Yeah. Number two problem is they're all across the country. Yeah. So that's why whenever you post anything, you'll very rarely see engagement. No one's clicking like, because again, no one's seen it or they're across the country and they don't care about that listing. Right. right. They're not in the market, but it's kind of a catch 22. Because what do we do? Here's step two. You have to run a simple Facebook ad to take that number up. So I come to your page, I see 265. I come to Marnie's page, I see 400. I go to Jason's page, I see 100. 99% of you guys have a couple hundred likes. Yep. But then I come over to Candy's page and I see 3,500. I don't know none of you guys. But when I look at that number, I automatically assume that she's the queen. Yeah, yeah, because she's got more people following her. That's all it is. It's perception. I don't know Candy from Jill. I don't know if she just started. I don't even know if she's closed her first escrow. I don't know nothing about no one. This is social media. But I look at that number. I automatically assume that she's the one to follow. So I come over here. I like her page. And now she has my attention. All because of a stupid number. And, and here's the deal. Candy, three months in the business. Jill, 15 years in the business. Yeah. But no one knows that. Yeah. Right? That's social proof. Mm -hmm. And so step two is simply running a Facebook ad to take that number up. And you don't, need, you don't necessarily need to go to 3,500. I'm telling you right now, 99% of you guys have 300. Yeah. So if you just, if you just ran a simple Facebook ad and took that to 1,200. Yeah you're better off than 99% of agents. Mm -hmm. none, of your, none of your agents even encompass in San Diego even have over a thousand likes on their page. I'm willing to bet. And, and, and the only ones that normally do is, is the actual corporate page. So compass the actual business page, they probably have tens of thousands because every agent's following the page. 
But as far as ind independent agent or even independent broker, like there's no one that even has a high number. I seen, I seen them all. And so that's step two. That is the first impression. All we want to do is when people land here, they need to, it needs to be, oh, wow. That's so important. It's not even funny. That's why I call it step two. Step three is when you simply, let me see if, if you have any, any, okay, this right here. Is this you or this Mel? This is Mel? This is me dressed this, up as Mel. Oh, I gave a speech in my Toastmasters group on Wednesday and I thought, what the hell? I, I'm all gussied up in this outfit. I might as well do my San Diego market Jill, report. Maybe Jill, people will laugh. <laughs> I freaking love this. You have no, I'm telling you, listen to me clearly. I've spoken to thousands of people as I keep repeating. 99% of you guys fear the camera. The fact that you have the nuts to even do this, you're ahead of 99% of agents. Mm -hmm. Excuse the language, but I have no other no, way to say no, no, no. it. Yeah, it is what I, it is. Believe me, I've got a like, sailor mouth. Like David, I've have, done television in interviews. I've done radio interviews. I, you, no, I, give me the camera. I love it. Right? It's just when I see this stuff, I get fired up. Because after speaking to so many, 99% of them are not willing to do this. The 1% checkmate. You've already won. Now, here's step three. <clears throat> Every agent will take some type of content, whether it's a video, whether it's a listing, whether it's an open house, and they put it up on social media. And as I spent the last 15 minutes talking about, no one cares because every one of our followers are all across the country. That's why when we post something, very few are going to engage, very few, are, we're going to get even very few views. Like how many people even viewed it? Let's see. Six people viewed it. So you yeah. posted it 20 hours ago to your defense. It's, I mean, it's only 20 hours ago, but it's still six views. Mm -hmm. Here's step three. Rather than just posting it, you absolutely have to start running this as an ad. You have to, you have to, have to, have to, this is step three. Okay. You have to run this as a Facebook ad and target San Diego. The only people that need to be seeing this are people in San Diego. That is it. But the ultimate strategy is to run one like this every single week. So rather than having to post every day on all these platforms, rather than having to think you have to keep up with posting on your Facebook page, the heck with all that. The only thing you need to be doing is putting up one single video per week and running it as a Facebook ad. That is step three. And I'm talking about it's a step because it's a religion. <clears throat> it's literally a religion. I need you to run this Facebook ad every week as if it was your religion. That is the answer to your question earlier. How do we get more attention in our local area? It's that. If you can run this to Mission Valley or wherever you're farming and you target that local area and it's a new video every week, every, every Friday we go live with a new video and we're running an actual ad, that's when you take over, Jill. That's when you take over. The heck with social media. I need to focus in on a target and the only, a target market and the only way I can do that is with a Facebook ad. And I'm convinced that there's absolutely nothing offline you can do that would be better. And that would be less, and that would be as, as, as cheap. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing. There's absolutely nothing. Not your direct mail, not your door knocking, not your flyers, nothing. Zero. There's absolutely zero. Today, for you to, for you to run a video like this, a verbal, visual video, and get thousands of people in that local market to see it for a few bucks is unheard of. Yeah. But it's a weekly thing. You have to commit weekly. And that's why I always tell people, and I truly, truly mean this from the bottom of my heart. If a person has to go get a part-time job, if you have to have a part-time hustle, if you have to sell something on the internet, if you have to have a weekend garage sale to free up a couple hundred a month to be able to put these ads out every week, you're going to have to do that. That's where we're at. You have to do that. And, 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 and I also tell people that if you need to cut on Starbucks, cut your expenses. If you need to stop going out of so many, you know, so many days a week to dinner, stop doing that. Whatever we have to do to cut expenses to be able to put a Facebook budget out to target our local market, we're going to have to do that because it's not organic posting. Posting like this is not going to get us anywhere. This yeah. could be on LinkedIn. This can be on Instagram, whatever. It's not going to get us anywhere. We have to target that local market. And, and I also tell, tell my friends, I'm like, hey, the reality is, is the fact that because one thing that people think is that it costs so much, here's the reality on the cost. Rather than six views, 
20 hours ago, we would have had 600 views 20 hours ago, and we would have spent maybe about three bucks. Mm -hmm. And those would have been 600 views all in Mission Valley. Literally, we would have spent about three bucks. Literally, Jill. Like, it's not even funny. And so I, I, I also say all the time <clears throat> to run this as a, as a weekly ad because that, that's what I'm pitching. Step three, yeah. it's not just running one ad. It's running one every week. But the cost, let's break down the cost. If I spent five bucks a day, that's mm -hmm. 35 bucks a week to get thousands of people in my local area to see that video. If I took you to lunch today, Jill, I'd spend more than that. Yeah. Especially if I took you out to shelter somewhere in Shelter Island. Mm -hmm. If I took you to, if I took you to my, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite restaurants, which is Island Prime. Oh, yeah. If I took you there for lunch, I'm spending 50, 60 bucks just for lunch. Yep. Yep. So that's why it blows my mind on how most realtors are still tippy toeing trying to boost posts when it's like, no, man, like you need to run one every week because it's pennies compared to what you can possibly make. Mm -hmm. So that's how you take over video running it every week to your farm. That's it. I can end the call right here. And if you were to take that and implement that, you would win. You would completely dominate the market. That's step three, weekly video ad. Whether you're talking about a market update, whether you're talking about a listing, whether you're talking about an open house this weekend, whether you're giving away a seller guide, mo a lot of people love that. Mm -hmm. talk, about, talk about the process. And, and here, here, here's what I want you to, to jot down if, if you are jotting down anything. Here's right. what I want you to jot down. If it's not a market update, if it's not a video on a listing or an open house, then 99% yeah. of the time, it's going to be a video three minutes of Jill breaking down the process of buying or breaking down the process of selling. So we're going to educate the seller or we're going to educate the buyer. You're going to pick one. Don't, don't try to be all over the place. Yep. One at a time. One at a time. So the month we're going to educate. And it's, so if I'm saying weekly ad, I'm saying weekly video, four ads a month, this month, we're going to drop four videos. And mm -hmm. if we don't have a listing, that's fine. We're going to drop four videos, one a week, and it's going to be on the topic of selling because we're shooting for listings. Yeah. And so it's Jill on video for three minutes, educating me on the process of selling. Mm -hmm. And here's what you're going to do. Okay. So it's either buyer or seller. We're going to educate. We're going to choose one topic, but here is the call to action. Because everyone will come on video if they do, and they'll just, they'll just say what they say, but there's no real call to action. If anything, they're saying, hey, comment below, or they're saying, hey, message me if you have any questions. It's not a real hardcore call to action. Yeah. At the end of the video, let's say we're focused on, actually, let me just ask you, are we focused on buyers or sellers? Choose one. Sellers. Okay, perfect. So this is a, a three-minute video on educating me on sellers, on selling, mm -hmm. on selling. Maybe, maybe, maybe tips on, on increasing the value before I sell. Maybe, 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 maybe giving me three minutes on what the difference is, because I know a lot of people are probably confused. What's the difference between hiring an agent mm -hmm. versus trying to list my home for sale by owner? Maybe yeah. give me three minutes on the benefits of, of hiring an agent. Mm -hmm. That's education-based. Yeah. So, so my point is, is that one topic weekly and at the end of the video, there's a call to action. And here is step four. So the weekly video, that's step three. Step four is your call to action. Hey guys, and by the way, because here's, here's the way the ad looks. As anyone runs an ad on Facebook in the newsfeed, whether we're scrolling through on our computer or whether we're scrolling through on an actual phone, we're scrolling through, seeing what our friends are up to, seeing what everyone's posting, and then all of a sudden we come across a sponsored ad. This mm -hmm. is a Facebook ad. Dream firms running a, a Facebook ad. That's step three, the Facebook ad. Step four is when I click on learn more. Okay. So in your video, at the end, the very last, let's just say 10 seconds, here's what you're pitching. Here's the call to action. You educated me on the process of selling, but now it's time to give me something. You gave me education. That's one. But mm -hmm. I want something else. We have to entice people. And this is what, what I call bait. As you capture leads on the internet, you have to give in order to receive. Mm -hmm. So a great thing for you guys to be giving is a seller guide, yeah, a PDF, a simple brochure, 
Mm -hmm. right? So at the end of your video, you would say, Hey guys, and by the way, click learn more. It will take you straight to my web page. This is, here's an example. It will take you straight to my web page where you can download your free 2020 seller guide. This is going to give you the top 10 simple tips to raise the value of your home before selling. Yep. It's free. I'll also send you a step-by-step -step plan to getting started. They come over here, they click the one button, yeah. they enter their name and email. This page is a landing page. You don't need a website. We need a web page. Mm -hmm. This is what I call step four. So if an agent is running an ad, they're, all they're doing is expecting people to comment. Or if I ever click on learn more, they're yeah. taking me to their fancy website. Where on your fancy compass website, there's nowhere to capture a lead. Right, right. So I need to take them. So I'm telling them in my video, hey guys, click learn more because I have a free PDF that I want to give you. This is the 2020 seller guide. It's going to give you this, this, and this, and this. It's going to educate you on the process of selling. Download your free copy now. Click learn more. This is step four. David? It, yeah. I appreciate, you don't know how I appreciate how much information you're giving me. God bless you, Jill. And I was with you, step one, step two, step three. And part of this is my attention span. Part of this is some things <clears throat> that I just learned yesterday mm -hmm. about myself, my brain, and how I mm -hmm. process and don't process information. Mm -hmm. I'm gone. Okay. I can't take it in. And part of it's what's going on probably in another three to six months as I get the brain things corrected. I'll, hey, I'll be great. But no, we, <clears throat> there, we there are certain things. But let me ask you, mm -hmm. okay, what would you charge me to get, get me through step one where everything matches? Because yes. trying to copy the links and do that happy horse shit, I, mm -hmm. I'm like deer in the headlights. My eyes glaze over. I'm, I'm, I got you. I got yeah. you. I, 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 it's better I get help than torture myself to try to get it done. I know I need to get this done. I got you. And here's where, and I appreciate you more than you can possibly imagine. You have no idea. Here's where we start. Okay. That was a ton of information. Let's dumb it down. And here is the next step. Step one is listen to all those links. I can easily do that for you. I'm not going to charge you nothing to do that. Step one, I can easily list those links. Mm -hmm. Step two, I want to take this 265 to 2600. Mm -hmm. That's step two. Yeah. That's where we start. So here's my whole proposal. You just pay for the ad, whatever your budget is, whatever. It don't matter, five bucks, whatever. Whatever your budget is, you pay for the ad. I'll run it for you. I'll list everything for you, but you're going to owe me a good review. I can do that. Let's start there. After we get step one, everything listed, as we get this number up to the 2,000 mark, I'll have a handful of emails that go out where we can connect again. And then we'll start talking about lead capture ads. Okay. But for now, let's just get that light count up. Let's bring some life to the page. Perfect. Now, what, <clears throat> what do you, what, before I ask that question, the, um, my website is going to need to have, I think it's the domain name shift to Jill Eastman Realtor. Let's see if that's even available. So let's go to GoDaddy really quick, just to see if it's available. Yeah, mine is with GoDaddy, although it's hosted Perfect. by my website company. Yes, yes. So Jill Eastman, Realtor. Dot com. Okay, so Jill Eastman, Realtor dot com. Let's see if that's available. Awesome. So normally it's eleven ninety nine, but if I go through and get the coupon, let me see if I can 
let's see if I can if I can Google search for a discount on this because as I mentioned in the beginning, mm -hmm. I'm going to show you how to get it for a dollar. Let's see if I can. So if I go to Google and I type in cheap domains, I should see. There we go. There's the 99 cent GoDaddy. So now if I come in here to try to register it, now I should be seeing an offer. There we go, 99 cents. So that's for the first year. After that, then it's, I think it, then it's, then it goes to the 14.99 per year. Okay. But at least for the first year, we can get it for a buck. That right there is our winning name. Yep. So I can easily register that for you. Mm -hmm. And then, and then get all the links listed for you. I can list them on the personal page. I can list them on the business page mm -hmm. and then I can have that ad started tonight. You just let me know what our budget is for the ad. And this is a one-time ad. It's not an ad we're going to run every month. Like okay. we're going to run this ad one time. That's step two. And then after that, we'll talk again in the near, in the near future, hopefully in the next week or two, whatever, whenever, whenever you're ready. But the next step, which is step three is taking these videos to capture local leads. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. what I want to talk about with you next. Yeah, yeah. So in the meantime, let's get step one. Let's get step two. What's our budget for an ad? Let's just look at it for the month. Let's look at it for one ad. What can we put towards it? And you I'll know, kind of give, give you an idea of me, how many likes. Let me, let me think about that as I'm going through my day today. And I'll message you tonight. Perfect. With that, with that budget. Perfect. Perfect. And you kind of base it off a daily budget, either based off of five bucks a day, $6 a day, $10 mm -hmm. a day, whatever. Like if you went five bucks a day for the month, that's a $150 budget. Mm -hmm. So look at it, look at it by day. And it's normally about five bucks a day. So for example, if you put five bucks a day and that number, <clears throat> we ran that up, that, that number would be at 1500 in the next week or so. So on a five dollar a day budget. Yeah. So you just let me know. You just message me later on. I'll be able to. St I, I'd like to start the ad later tonight. So just try to message me sometime, maybe before ten p.m. and I can still start it tonight. Okay. Yeah. Um. You know what? Let's just do the five a day. Normally, okay. when I boost my posts. I keep it to about like $3 a day mm -hmm. and then I only go like four or five days. Yeah. We're going to, we're going to go the whole month. So whatever you want to do, Joe. And, and, and again, that's a one-time ad, right. but, but at five bucks a day, this number would go through the roof and that's all you would need. We turn that ad off. Then whenever you're ready, we start step three and we start branding those videos to okay. San Diego. Beautiful. Okay. So, I just need a card. Give me whatever card I can use for the ad and I'll email you an actual receipt of the ad as well. Okay. Yeah. Give me a minute. Take your time. Well, you can say, take, take my time because you don't have to be to La Jolla until noon, but I've got another call. I need to be on at 10. You got eight minutes. Yep. Yes, I do. Yeah, you know, it's just interesting, especially now that I understand more because of what I've found out is going on with my brain. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I would take on these projects and then it's like, I can't, <clears throat> I get them started, I can't keep, and nothing happens. So it's like, okay, Jill, be smart about this. From this okay. point on, Jill, <clears throat> just like you study real estate, I study social media marketing. Yeah. So from this point on, I am your man. Don't worry about none of this stuff. You got a question, you message me. Yeah. You need something done, I'll update it. Whatever the heck you need, reach out to me. Lean on me for this type of stuff. Because anybody, this, cause this whether, whether someone has something going on with their mind or not, but this stuff is overwhelming for everyone. Okay. So unless, you, you, unless you have a natural aptitude for yeah. it. Some people yeah. do. Right? Or they have the patience. Mm-hmm. You learn it, and right now, and I see it as a temporary, but I have some things that are making it difficult mm -hmm. for me to learn this kind of stuff. So why I need to be doing this now, why wait as I'm 
<clears throat> making the changes to get the brain working better. No, it just let's do this now. Do you need like usernames and passwords to be able to change on my pages? Yes. So all I'll need to do is log in. And once I'm done, I'll have everything linked. I can literally have everything linked as fast as you send me everything. So if you send me all your passwords tonight for LinkedIn, for Instagram, for Facebook, take your time. I don't want to rush you at all. So if you have to send it to me today, later on, that's fine. If you have to send it to me this weekend, that's fine. But the moment you send it to me, I'll have them updated within a few minutes. And then you can change your passwords after that. Okay. Do me, do me a favor, message me your, <clears throat> your email. Cause I don't yeah. know that I feel comfortable sending that in messenger. No, for sure. For sure. I will. No, nothing in messenger. I'm going to email. <laughs> we're going to email everything. Yeah. So you need username and password. Yes. For all the accounts. Yes. Just so I can I, log in, change the name for everything to match and that's it. Yeah. God, I don't even know. Yeah. It might take you a little while to think of everything. So don't worry about that. Don't rush on that. In the meantime, I can still, the most important is logging into Facebook so I can start the yeah, ad. If, if you got to yeah. take your time with LinkedIn passwords and all that, just get that to me over the weekend. Okay. Got okay. it. Um, are you ready? Oh, yes. Yeah. It's a visa. Okay. Four, eight, one.